Hi Capricorn, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to do your reading for the month of July. How are you guys feeling? How is the anxiety? Some of you are really going through it. I can feel it. I'm here. I'll send you guys some good positive energy. Um, for others of you, you guys are doing really good. Like you guys really have your things together. Like I feel it so strongly. It's like, you know what? I got this plan. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it like this. going to do it like that. Okay, maybe in a love aspect. I don't really know what I'm doing. But when it comes to work, I have my things together. Or at least know where I'm moving towards. I feel that. Really good. Keep it up. Keep it all the way up. Okay? I'm really proud of you guys. So let's see. Let's see what's coming out through the cards for you. So, cancer season is around the corner, and this is not just any other typical cancer season. This is a this is a serious one, okay? This is the one that comes with Mercury retrograde, that comes with eclipses, that comes with everything. So, um, get, it's not something we should fear. No, because it brings in such positive, necessary shifts and changes which is only going to help you really make decisions, move forward, um, turn a different direction. Um, but I feel it's something you guys have been really waiting on to receive, basically. So we're going to get into that a little bit later. First, wow, beautiful. We have the warrior woman and then we have the leap card. So take a leap of faith. Beautiful. Okay, Capricorn, have you answered your deepest calling? That's your question. Have you answered your deepest calling? And then you have, you go first and the universe will catch you. That's too beautiful message. It's about, I'm hearing, the time will never be right. If you're looking for all the circumstances to be in the rightest place, for you to take that leap of faith, to take that jump, it sometimes you have to make it the right time and trust that the universe will catch you when you take the leap of faith. It's about trusting in your own abilities. Capricorn is what I'm hearing. Okay, uh, throat chakra. I feel like certain things you've not been saying. Um, I feel like you have a feeling, thoughts writing about it or things like that but it's not something you're openly speaking about yet there's something going on and you're just not ready to let it out but that's okay take your time with that okay it's just a feel um blockage around your throat chakra and i get that because it's, it's gemini season you know it's been gemini season it's about to go into cancer but like I said, it's about taking the time, sometimes making it so, making it the time to be right and to really have your, have faith in yourself until a deeper level to know that whatever circumstance will show up, will come up, you have the capacity to really work through that and work with it, I'm hearing. So they're really just letting you know, like, listen, <laughs> listen, Capricorn, okay? <laughs> July is going to have a lunar and a solar eclipse first we work with the solar eclipse on the second or the third depends on where you're at um, with the new moon in cancer that's a solar eclipse in your seventh house okay it's a house of your relationships your connections whether your relationship with yourself with another person it's connected to that and there's going to be um, an eclipse in that house of yours so Things can come to light, or you're finally ready to make a really cut, you know, clear decision based on that. You're taking either taking the leap in or you're taking the leap out. Okay, it's I feel some of you have been lingering a little bit. I don't know, I'm not sure. I want to, but I can't see the person the same way anymore. There's a lot of things going on within your head space about this, and you just haven't really had that moment of every seeing everything that clearly so you can take that leap okay that's coming in july take it as it comes it can comes with days of anxiety it can comes with days with extreme positive motivation energy and just flow with that flow with cancer season this year uh, with whatever comes to you is supposed to be there just flow with it 
don't try to question it too much don't try to 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 put too much pressure on yourself or wanting it in, in a certain way it's going to come in the way it's meant to be everything in this month will play out exactly the way it's meant to be because it it's here to sometimes with a shock value sometimes with you know very positive energy or something like you could just get lucky you're like I, I i didn't see this one coming okay but it will come in because it's meant to happen right now this month okay and i'm, I'm i know that some of you are just like oh girl lady just get to the cards <laughs> but i need to i there are some of my capricorns that continue coming back to my channel that needed this message and and I always follow that you you guys know me by now like I don't mind if it doesn't reach everybody it's it but it has to reach the people it, it had had to reach okay <laughs> I, I do my readings the way on my in my intuition with my intuition but also based on whatever feels and it, it's that's the way I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna you know change that so okay. <laughs> beautiful so warrior woman whether you're masculine or feminine doesn't matter you got the 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 strength and you have this is really you though like I don't know signs that can show such inner strength as Capricorns and just always know that even if there's the most stressful situation always find that after 10, 12, you know, 15 minutes, that click, that switch of like, okay, you know what, I gotta do what I gotta do, you know, to secure this thing or to do this. I know it's a lot, I know it's just all over the place and I, I kind of just wanna laugh about it because I have no other energy to work with, but I gotta do what I gotta do, you know, that worry energy. So just do this. It's not certain. You gotta, you gotta just go and try, okay? Like, take the leap. First, you go, and the universe will follow. First, maybe it has, it has everything to do with changing your mindset, or with just going after that. Just if you're looking for a job, just send out as much, send out as much as you can. This card has to come out. Um, you know resumes and everything and let the universe show you which direction to go you will get a phone call from the right one it's supposed to be like that okay um so some with that once you go first and the universe will follow you and will show you right okay anyway let's jump into your tarot reading oh capris you guys are giving me the anxiety feels okay i i feel in some way it is pretty exciting as well but it's um it's a doo -doo, doo -doo, you know the heartbeat <sighs> just breathe through it okay you got decisions to make i know this or some decision making and some of you have been putting this off because you just felt like you you didn't really have all the answers yet to do it um, what I'm getting strongly, whether this is you or the other person, because it's a general reading, I feel some of you are waiting with making a decision and it's not really fair anymore against the other person. So it's either you waiting on someone to make a decision and it's just, you know, it's just lingering on. It's not bringing any happiness to anyone in the situation involved. This could be love or, or work. Um, but I feel for some of you, you guys were just really not ready to make a decision, but along the way, it just kind of sort of, um, you know, became, became normal. That is sort of in the middle, but this, this eclipse season, um, is not really going to allow things to just be lingering in the middle. It's about, no, we're either going to go left or we're going to go right. We're going to jump in or we're going to jump out. And it's good, it's good, Capricorn. It's not something to fear, it's something to look forward to. And, you know, so new energy can come in. Okay, wow, beautiful. The sun was already <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. The sun, you see? Because you get clarity. 
once you make a decision and you go left or right yes maybe the the options you had on the other side are no longer there but at least you now know where you're going at least you're moving forward at least you're having a clear vision a clear view of what's going on and the solar eclipse gonna going to is going to be in your in your first house okay that's around the 17th or uh, 16 or 17 depends on where you're at um, of July and that's going to help you really have a clear vision of who am I who have I become what type of things you know has changed within me does my direction need to change and all these answers uh, you know questions will be answered and um, have a very clear vision on that so don't <laughs> don't be afraid for waking up in the morning and just feeling you know what I, yesterday I was thinking different differently about this but today I just know I just know like the answer is just gonna come to you clearly about where you go maybe you want to change your hair a little bit or your outfits or the way you present yourself to the world because it's your first house is about you and how you feel about you and how you feel about where you're going who you're hanging out with who you are dating it's like all about you and then we have the two of pentacles i feel you're gonna get more the i'm gonna put this a little bit the energy you had of like, I have multiple options, I don't really know where to go, I'm kind of sort of stuck in the middle with this one. Um, it's gonna, you're gonna come out of that soon. And don't just hold on to July too much because the energy is because of Mercury retrograde is moving a little different and slower and sometimes really quickly. Um, Meaning that it could play out July, August, but this summer month is going to really bring in that change, that shift that you needed, that your soul is really craving for deep down inside. That's why the anxiety is just like, you can feel this coming, Capricorn. You guys have a very strong intuition. You feel something's coming. You just can't put your finger on it, what it is. And that is sort of triggering these anxiety feels. I'm not trying to tell you that every single Capricorn has this. It really depends on what other, you know, signs you have in your natal chart. But I do really feel it from coming from the Capricorn Collective, basically. So we're going to have, you know, like I said, it's going to be your first house. So this solar, sorry, this lunar eclipse will be in your sign, Capricorn. So it's you and me, okay? It's you and me, baby. <laughs> it's the Capricorn versus the Cancers. We're at this, at it this month, okay? Like it's Cancer season and Capricorn bringing in their energy, like you and me, okay? It's going to be very special. <laughs> you see, and we have the Page of Swords. So once you, you get this clarity feel, it's going to come in as an energy, okay? And I feel that there are some messages, some quick messages, it's going to be you sending this out or you receiving this answer or this, you know, question or something like that. Um, it's going to be, I'm gonna cut this out, it's done, I'm over it. I'm, I'm really over it. I'm over this hole in the middle. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Cap, you just have to. You don't mind because you're ready you are ready yeah see the emperor is coming out you're ready to feel and embrace this new energy you're ready to just make decisions based on um, positive positive energy so like where am I, you know, uh, good at and focusing on things that are, pro you know, are futile. So like ideas that have a lot of, you know, abilities to grow and to just focus on you feeling like this again. And that's basically what's going to come in with your first house energy. It's like you respecting you, you embracing all of you. And that's the energy you send out. It's very beautiful. So some of you have decisions to make or had decisions to make concerning a pregnancy. That's what's coming out. Maybe you have been feeling a little bit left out in the cold when it comes to your pregnancy. 
or something with that maybe you are trying to get pregnant and you just kind of sort of feel alone in this journey like I don't know it's something like that um, for others of you for sorry for others of you you are going to that's sorry that's what's coming in I'm sorry that's just <laughs> I was tuning in for a little bit um, some some of you are going to plan a trip to go to um, a special place like it has a lot of like nature and everything I see like it could be like Africa South Africa something like that which is beautiful there but it could also be something else like that similar like it has um, a lot of um, nature and just waterfalls and things like that and it's almost like you are deciding to really go and do that for you it's like i need this like i need to go back there or i need to go there and find myself or something like that some of you are really going to focus go, um to do that and like i'm sorry that i'm like up 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 you know like that that's the way i speak right now is mercury retrograde and because we're already in shadow period so every time i want to say something the words just doesn't, don't instantly come out. It's not, it's like, do, 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 do. It's, I know I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> I know it's a little, okay, I'm gonna try and speak very fluid, but it's uh, not easy because I, I feel uh, so many messages coming in. I just wanna throw them at you guys. Um, but it's going to come in a little off, okay? I'm sorry. So the ocean, the water, water is very important for you this month. So you see it's water, 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 it's... Six of Pentacles, beautiful. Some of you are really just sharing your knowledge or sharing your uh, experience. There we go. I told you, you gotta do what you gotta do, but you're doing it. That's good. That's really good. Look, you come in with the Six of Pentacles and then the King of Pentacles. This is you, Cap. This is you. This is coming in as a generous, established um, human being. You know, it's, it's such a beautiful energy to come from. And it's also how other people see you. You know, they see you like you got your stuff together. They're like, yeah, okay, Capricorn, I see you. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Could be somebody around you that is um, sharing some resources with you or something like that. Like somebody could come in and help you out, okay? There is maybe, you know, uh, family energy or something like that. Somebody you know very well is like, oh, here you go. I'm helping you out, Capricorn, because I'm very proud of what you've been doing. Could be like a mother or a father-in-law or a, your own father or something like that. Um, a, a figure, okay? I don't, don't pin it too much down to like parents because I feel like there's this distance between that. But um, yeah. I do see that people are really like respecting your change and your evolvement and also been seeing that you've been putting in the time and the energy and the effort and just things haven't really come to fruition yet but they are about to come to fruition you're giving birth to a new idea a new you a new energy you know new motivation and you may be just in the beginning stages and you just need a little bit of help and this person is giving you help because they see the jet um the um, how do you put that they just see that you have potential, okay, and they believe in you, that's what I'm hearing. And for others of you, you're just cutting out, you really are making, <laughs> okay, we got two swords going on, you're like, okay, and this can go, and that can go, and whoever wants it can get it, but I am on this, I'm on fire, I'm on my pathway, I'm ready to go. So I got this new thing, I know where I'm going to go, whoever is not with me, fine, go, have a great life, I'm moving on okay and right now maybe in this energy you know end of june you might be listening to this reading in the end of june and you're just like uh 
girl, woman, that is not my life, okay? <laughs> Can't tap into that right now. Come back during like the half of July to this reading and be like, oh, oh yeah, I guess I guess I did, did get my sword after all, you know? So just let that stuff come and in as it comes. It's very positive, but July is gonna be a roller coaster, but it will be fun. If you allow it to be. Don't question anything. Just roll with it. That's the most. And allow yourself to feel. See? The strength card. Overcoming this energy of like. Um, feeling like. Oh I need to make a decision. I don't know really what. What if I made the wrong plan? What if I made the wrong decision? What if I shouldn't or should? What if? What if? It's about. Really just. Knowing that even though you make a decision, even though you go a certain pathway, it doesn't mean that you have to stay on that pathway for the rest of your life. You can just explore it for 12 months and then look back at it again and think, is this still my pathway? Have I learned what I need to learn from this direction? And should I go another way now? Right? Don't like pin that things down and you have to be and embrace that for the next 12, 14, 20 years. You don't have to. Just roam with flow, right? Um... Yeah, also what I'm getting for you for the month of July is just allow yourself to feel. We are in cancer season after all. There could be coming up some old emotions and you could reflect that on other people. It can just reflect into other people towards you. Um, take some time with that. And allow yourself to have, like I said, if you're in, feeling anxious in the morning, allow it. Don't question it too much. Just think, okay, this is the energy shift. I know that something's coming. Uh, I, what can I do to make myself feel a little bit more at ease right now, in this day, in this moment, in this hour? Just really be in the present moment and don't think that's going to stay forever and all of that. And what if I never change? What if it never goes away? Then, you know, it will. It will. And you won't allow, yeah, you won't allow things to hold you back beautiful queen of cups you see you are allowing energies to come in allowing emotions to be there not really questioning it too much or putting yourself down for it just you are in control of your own emotional energy and this is what i like to see you could be dealing and waiting on a message from a water sign um I just feel this person is not ready to open up yet and this water sign is just keeping their own cup to themselves right now so you literally are just waiting you know for it to come in but let's see if it's gonna come in there we go yeah Page of Wands, and we have the Queen of, sorry, the Eight of Swords. Meaning that this is that energy. You see? This is that energy. It's like okay, Eight of Cups, you know? I mean, this is what I'm feeling right now when I'm picking up your energy. It's like I feel like my circumstances are just like sort of keeping me here. And I don't know. I'm stuck in the middle. I know. I get this. But it's really, it is build up fear. You're going to overcome this energy with the strength card. Then we have the page of wands, meaning that you have somebody coming in with a message, who's passionate about you, is offering you a new beginning, but I also see it's you in the beginning stages of embracing this new you. After everything you've been through, you collected, you know, this new energy, and I feel you really are going to make something beautiful with that. You really are. And um, I feel like you're ready. And you're also embracing. You are embracing your own. How do you put that? Individuality. So who you are as an individual, as a soul, 
and you're embracing that and you're not searching for any outside source to like tell you that that's something positive or not that is something that holds ground that has a foundation no it's about i feel most at ease most at peace with me just following this or me just going there or me just not speaking about my emotions or speaking about my emotions like that right let me see what else coming out oh that's a lot of cards it has to come out, it will come out. You see, Ten of Pentacles. I do see that person you're thinking about having a similar energy towards this connection. Okay, if you're dealing with somebody, if you are in a relationship at this moment, I feel you guys, even though you're not feeling it, in the end of the day, they have the same hopes for this relationship to play out. It's like, you know, they want this long-term thing. It's like a two of ones. It's like something you are building, something you are moving into, it's powerful. It's powerful, Capricorn. And I see that, st that thing really giving you things for the next years to come. It's like you're building up something that's just going to keep continue being in your life helping you, you know, it's a solid foundation, basically. So Ten of Pentacles is really positive. The money looks great. Like I said, you guys are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> That's the Capricorn way. First we do what we gotta do, and then, you know, we'll see if we have some fun time, maybe some play time, all of that. Okay, quick moving energy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put them back because it's too much. I want like only two, one or two cards maybe. The message is quite clear, it's quite similar. Yes, you see, Ace of Wands. It's passion, it's passionate. It's like this person is really passionate towards you. There's somebody in your energy. It could be this water sign. This water sign has, still has great passion for you. Definitely. Um, but others of the, it's just... You are building something based on, on, on this fire within your soul. It's like I'm choosing, I'm going, I'm ready. You're getting the tools, okay? You're getting backed up. Like you're taking this leap of faith and you're getting, you know, backed up by the universe, basically. Great energy. It's beautiful. Look, it's Ace of Wands. Passionate. So much passion in your reading. And you need that. You need to keep the fire burning, I'm hearing. Like, keep the fire burning. Powerful. Okay. So, I'm going to pick up a Goddess Guidance card for you as well. Miracle. Woo wee. Okay now. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, Capricorn. You have Mother Mary, right? Yes. And expect a miracle. Have faith. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. They see you praying casually on the low. You know. Have faith. For some of you, it really is a pregnancy you've been waiting on. And for others of you, it's just giving birth to the new you. It's like the 2-1-0 version of you. And you're really ready to, to come from this energy. Doesn't matter where you're at in your journey. Doesn't matter what age you have. We all go through stages in life and you guys are ready to jump into the next one. And this is going to be a very exciting one. Because, you know... Like I told you, it's you and me, Capricorn, you know, we are ruling this, this eclipse season right now. And um, you guys really do deserve this, this change. So, like I told you, if your anxiety is getting really hyped up, find somebody to just have a conversation with or anything like that. If you just want to write everything down, send me an email, anything. You're always more than welcome to do that, of course. Um, whatever helps you work through those moments because it's it's going to be moment to moment okay don't question it too much 
I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. And um, when it comes to Vimeo, I started, I told you guys like I did my trial for extended readings on Vimeo. I had a trial with that one. And um, I really got, I have no idea why, but I really got guided to postpone that one. So to just put it back and just uh, focus on something else right now when it also comes to my channel. And um, I just had to follow my intuition with that one. So I really got guided to just wait with that. And I, if you had purchased one, a reading from me for June and you still wanna watch that video, you can send me an email and I'll send that link to you so you can just still watch that uh, reading because you did, if you did purchase it, of course, and it's more than fair. <laughs> um, thank you if you did, by the way. I really appreciate that a lot, a lot. And um, maybe we'll be back in the future for right now. I'm just gonna put my energy on in the YouTube side of things. <laughs> uh, have a great month, Capricorn. I love you guys so much and uh, I'll see you back soon, okay? Bye. Bye.